What would you little maniacs like to do first? Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's me, Russ Shaw, and cassette tapes. I've got a collection of cassette tapes here, and we play them in the house on this. Do they sound as good as vinyl? Of course not. Um, do they sound as good as streaming? Sometimes no. <laughs> a good percentage of the time, no. Uh, but a good, a small percentage of the time, some of these tapes, the chromium tapes, sound a little better than streaming, to be honest. Anyway, what do you play them on in the car these days? My wife and I have two of these uh, caravans, one of each, one for her, one for me. This is hers. And uh, they're work donkeys, you know, use them for our businesses and such, moving stuff around. It's a Northwestern pickup truck because it rains a lot here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> these fans are great. Run forever. This one came with a CD player and cassette player. Now this is a 2005 and it's got a, it's got a cassette player, which is really cool. Look at that, Duran Duran. I got uh, Vicky the van here. She had a broken stereo, uh, like an aftermarket Kenwood or something like that. So I put a Bluetooth stereo in there that was like $20 at Walmart. <laughs> I had that thing in there for years. It just didn't sound very good and it doesn't play CDs or cassette tapes. So I got a 2005 stereo from a wrecking yard for like cheap and I'm going to attempt to put it in uh, old Vicky the van here. And here we go. I got the I got one speaker hooked up just to test it see if it works. I got a clock coming on. Oh, I'm not hearing anything. That's not good. There is a speaker hooked up. Oh, I hear it. Hey, listen to that. Okay, let's see. First of all, Ozzy Osbourne, Ultimate Sin. It's a good album. Oh. Oh no. Will not play tapes? No way, man. Hey, it does play tapes. Look at that. Ha <laughs> ha. Ozzy, all right. So go back to radio. Let's hit it, click over. Let's put a CD in, see if it plays a CD. You ready? Chris Cornell. Ooh, does it have a CD in it? Maybe it came with a... Nope, there's no CD in it. Ah, it works. Got this at the record show. It sounds better than the tape. <laughs> Shut it down and hook it up. Got a nice little wiring diagram here that tells me how to wire this thing. So yeah, this took me about an hour. This is a bracket, by the way. So this, these, the wiring for the 2000 here and the 2005 are different. So this is the, right, that's the plug for the 2005. That's the plug for the 2000. So this is a wiring harness. You can buy these for like a aftermarket stereo like I used to have. It's my Bluetooth thing, <laughs> you know. And uh, yeah, so putting in putting in the old analog. But I need an adapter, so this doesn't fit. I need this. Okay, and here's the uh, moment of truth. Will it fit? <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna see. I didn't think that far ahead. I've got a hacksaw. Nah, it looks like it's gonna fit beautifully. Look at that. I'm not gonna, you know, look at this. It even has the screw out. I don't know if that screw hole is gonna match out. 
on that side. It looks like this one might match up on that side. But anyway, it looks like this is going to fit. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, boy. Look at that. Kind of. Yeah. Maybe not. I might have to shoehorn it in there, you know what I'm saying? For now, I'm just... Uh... <laughs> My head will hold it. All right, got some extra parts. And uh, gonna have to get that adapter. The next day. These stickers actually have a purpose, by the way. They're holding this mirror together with the Gorilla Tape. <laughs> this one too, see that? And, uh, okay, so now that I have this weird antenna dilemma, I'm gonna run to this uh, stereo place that installs stereos over here. And they're gonna uh, hopefully have the or have some answers for me because <laughs> so I have no idea. Here we are. Bargain car stereo. Video security accessory. Few moments later. So, so I go in there and I'm like, I need, I need this part uh, to line up with this part. You know what I'm saying? Like I need an adapter that will make you know, and he goes, I don't understand. I said, so what I did was I I took a stereo from a 2005 caravan and I'm putting it in a 2000 caravan. And then, and he's like, you what? <laughs> that was pretty funny. And then he goes, oh, and he runs back there and he comes back out and he goes, here, this is what you need right here. I'm like, yeah, that's what I need right there. So pretty sweet. Get my fart, hook up my antenna. And here it is fully installed and yeah so it doesn't I mean it fits kind of sort of there's a bit of a gap these screws wouldn't fit so I put in uh, some drywall screws which are the duct tape of screws but it's fine it's fine it, it, this works but they don't have the bar Mm -hmm. Get rid of the bar for other reasons, but don't get rid of the bar yeah, because it works fine. Look at that. Because Max, there's nipples. There's our rock station in Seattle. Check this out. This is funny too. I gotta. I have to mute this because it's gonna. So it's got it's got this technology, but it also had this early, um, back in the day. <laughs> it actually has the texts from the FM feed. So this is when the technology was new. So we got KSW Rock of Seattle. Look at that. And it's actually showing on the screen ACDC Dirty Deeds. <laughs> so this is amazing. And it's right. So this has got cutting edge technology on the, the radio codex side. And then it's got a cassette player, <laughs> which is just is just awesome. If you think about it, KISW, eBay guaranteed rock fit. station here. Is guaranteed Seattle fit. area. So is this alternative rock station. Promo credit for phone Classic line rock station. For new customers. Um, with the bar, it's just News radio. All right, we'll crank this up a little bit. I've been rocking lately. This tape rocks, man. I do like this album. Yep, 49 cents. Number one on the Billboard rock charts for albums. Stayed there for two weeks before Damn Yankees released their super group record. And I bought this for 49 cents, which I'm sure was more than it was when it came out new. There was like three hits off of this album from what i understand uh boys cry tough and holy water i believe was a hit stranger stranger i mean it was a pretty good commercial success for 1990 and and bad company back in the day kind of a forgotten album really but an awesome an awesome one that's news under the hour from KISW in Seattle. 50 years of KISW. Hi, this is Jerry Cantrell. 99.9. KISW! And KISW HD1. Seattle. Uh, a 
radio.com station. Twelve songs in a row of non-stop rock. The ultimate sin. So you got, you know, people looking at the derriere of this woman in the ultimate sin. And then other folks might see the uh, mushroom cloud happening over here. <laughs> Which is more of what the ultimate sin is about because again this is a 1986 cold war still a thing and uh it's a pretty good album again it's on cro2 it's chromium it even says on the front here i wonder if this tape cost more or if they just did that back in the day i don't know but it doesn't sound that great to be honest with you it's it doesn't sound like a cro2 tape and maybe who knows the person who owned it before me um played this tape a lot because that can also cause them to break down um some tapes sound better than others and this one is it just sounds like a normal bias tape to me a kingdom come this is a band that sounds like led zeppelin <laughs> it's one of those bands and there's people that, you know, will, oh, they're ripping off Led Zeppelin. And sure, there's been a lot of bands that kind of sound like Led Zeppelin, right? Uh, I remember White Snake coming out. Like, oh, Coverdale kind of sounds like Led Zeppelin. Like, they didn't say that when he was singing for Deep Purple, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> and I, but I get it, you know? And then there's Kingdom Come. <laughs> Right, that more recently Greta Van Fleet. Mama, mama, oh. Um, probably a few other bands that I'm missing, but you get what I'm saying. And this this thing, oh, they're ripping off Led Zeppelin. But what if Led Zeppelin is so good, like they're one of those bands that they became a genre. You know, they created a genre of Brit blues right? Let's not forget that Led Zeppelin themselves are a cover band. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't know that, um, it's true. And they came up with their own style of covering old blue songs and it worked. And now what if there's, there's just another kind of genre of music, of Britpop that Led Zeppelin people, I like it, man. I'll be honest, man. I like it. I like Greta Van Fleet. I like Kingdom Come. I like White Snake. Although White Snake seems uh, different. I mean, sure, they do have some bluesy stuff going on, though, but copying Led Zeppelin, I don't know, whatever. The tapes bought this at Daybreak for a dollar. And it's got like a fold out, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Look at that. It's almost like a, an album with a poster, kind of, sort of. Hang that on the wall. <laughs> this side, you got, got the guys. Um, another drummer. Ow! Another drummer that met an unfortunate end. He, uh, he passed away recently. He was also a drummer for Scorpions. Toured with the Scorpions in the 2000s. Played with uh, the Scorpions in, for a decade. He also played, uh, with Montrose, I believe, uh, he played with uh, Warrant, so yeah. This is a cool, cool album. I like it. It rocks. Listen to it once or twice. It's also CRO too. This this one sounds better than the Aussie one. I'll say that. Polygram. Thanks, Polygram. Nineteen eighty nine. This was released. <laughs> So as far as streaming is concerned, I pulled into Costco here and I got a, a, this unit here, which was on sale. So these were on sale and I'm like, ooh, Bose. They had a sample, you know, you could play it. It's like, whoa, that sounds a lot better than than these. So this is what I had going on. It's like, and they sound, they don't sound great at all, especially loud. 
They're cheapy little. They're cool because they're stereo, right? But yeah, I have that one over there. See, I kept hitting my head on this one, so I put it in the middle. And I don't know. The dynamic stereo would be in this area. <laughs> so I don't know. I thought about putting this back farther, but they just don't sound good at all. I got these at Lowe's, by the way. This was, uh, I forget what it's called. It's, I don't know, Chinese. But yeah, we're going to open this. Unbox it here. And it came, on, came in a bag. Came with this handy strap. But yeah, I'm going to have to figure, get creative about how I'm going to hook this to the... What? Don't drop it. Jeez, Russ. <laughs> Bose. Sounds sounds freaking good though figure out something up here put it to the hook it to the ceiling so it don't get stole i have to figure out a way to charge it too run a charger or something up here we'll get it dude does it come with a remote no it comes with a cord remote would be the bluetooth that hooks to your phone silly so yeah nice Sweet. So yeah, look look forward to cranking this up. Wow, usually they ship these things and they have some life to them, but this guy is, uh, this guy's not turning on at all. I'm sure it's fine. Kept my receipt just in case, but uh, I have to review this in another video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, cassette tape stuff and you know to prove i'm i'm still technologically involved <laughs> i've got not gone total analog uh got this puppy later wipe this down oh yeah drop it there we go and you yeah. Sidebar, if you're wondering why I have my tapes and CDs in a plastic bag, it's because this is not the greatest cup holder. You see what I'm saying? And uh, more than once I've had coffee just, just fall right into this area. So, yeah. Anyway, that's already dry. It's still kind of got some dirt on it. I want this thing perfectly clean for what we're going to do here. Extreme outdoor Velcro. It's not going to be outdoor, but close enough. And you want to make sure the soft, soft side goes down. Had to use two hands for this, but there you go. Alcohol makes stickers stick and not come off. True story. And I moved this plate over here. And these are just cushion tacks, you know? It's also holding up the headliner when it was sagging. So, yeah, these work great. I'm gonna coat this with uh, alcohol. Put a sticker on there. I actually notched this out because I want to make sure it gets a good surface sticking there. And a nice chunk of alcohol on there. This thing is holding my toll. That's my my toll thing. H O V because I got lots of parts in here, so it's a high occupancy kind of a thing. Anyway, that's it. Yep. And I'll let that dry for a little while. Now, as I'm sitting in almost standstill traffic, let's see if this thing will bear the weight. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, great. That's not, that's not good. It's got some kind of non-stick coating or something. Oh, no. Great.